Well, Kayla, we're still watching light to moderate snow move north across the state right now. There will be a break in the next couple of hours, but the back edge of the snow, we're not anticipating that to completely exit the region until we get to just before sunrise. 70 to 80 percent chance of snow continuing, and most of our roads right now in the Des Moines metro area are wet, but this is where problems are going to start when those temperatures start dropping into the upper 20s here later on this evening, and especially when we get into those mid-20s, that will allow that snow to really stick efficiently. So right now, again, a lot of our roads are just wet, but where we're starting to see those issues pop up are down to the southwest. Highway 92 is reporting partially covered conditions. So is Highway 34 and Highway 2. Also, I-35 south of the metro and then in northwestern Iowa, where we had a little bit of snow early on today, partially covered roads north of Fort Dodge up toward Algona. Radar right now still showing a decent area of moderate to heavy snow, right basically from the Des Moines metro area and extending east along I-80 over toward Newton and Grinnell. More snow continues back off to the southeast from Oskaloosa over toward Ottumwa and Sheraton. And this is likely where we're going to see some of the highest amounts stack up later on this evening and tonight. Northern Iowa getting a break in the activity right now. But as we zoom out and show you what still has to come out of Kansas, this is why we're going to see those snowfall amounts add up here later on this evening and tonight. So this is the future cast here showing you that as we get closer to that 10 to 11 p.m. hour, that second wave from Kansas starts to lift north and we could see some locally heavier waves of snow, especially off to the south and east. By the time we get into tomorrow morning, light snow flurries, but the roads will likely be partially to completely covered by that point. And then the winds will pick up later on during the day as a cold front sweeps through the state. It'll likely be mostly cloudy. Then here comes the colder air. That colder air will likely linger Sunday night into Monday morning as temperatures drop down into the teens. So a cold start coming up on the day Monday. Here's our updated snowfall forecast. Still looking at one to three inches of the Des Moines metro area, but I've outlined a zone here uh, from Highway, Highway 34 down to the Iowa-Missouri border uh, where we could see upwards of isolated amounts of four inches where we could see some heavier banding. So this is what we're anticipating the fall through the remainder of this evening and into the overnight hours. With regards to travel conditions, wet roads will become snow and slush covered this evening, leading us to partially to completely covered roads. So if you can avoid travel, unnecessary travel tonight through at least midday Sunday, that's when we'll start to see those conditions improve. Winds will pick up during the day tomorrow. We're expecting strong winds out of the north and west at around 20 to 25 miles per hour, and those gusts could easily exceed 30 miles per hour through the day. The winds will settle down Monday, but again, that starts us off next week very cold with highs in the lower 30s, lows in the teens coming up Monday night into Tuesday morning, and then we'll start to see those temperatures rebound into the mid 40s coming up Wednesday. Our next system arrives by Friday with a chance of rain and snow by that point.